Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to make this necklace and matching earrings. So let's get started. I'm going to make my dangles with standard paper clips. But of course you could always use a wire if you want it. I often use paper clips because, for one thing, they're non-tarnish, very inexpensive, and pretty much anyone has paper clips on hand. You could use any kind of beads as the bottom bead, like these little hearts are cute. These are just very cheap beads from Walmart, or some tubular beads, or these cloisonne beads. I love those beads, and these little beads are interesting too. Today I'm just going to use some of these silver beads and these black beads. First thing we're going to do is open up these paper clips. And just straighten them out as best you can. Like that. Now at the very end you're just going to twist it up like this. And then just squeeze that closed. Like that. Now you're going to slide on a focal bead. And whatever beads you decide that you're going to use. And for this necklace, I started with my longest dangle, put six of the black beads. And then I just had to put one less on each one. I didn't have to measure. And for the earrings, I just put two beads. So after you have the correct number of beads on your paper clip, cut off the extra. Curl this into a loop. Straighten it back out to the center and then pinch that loop closed like that. So that's how you're going to make all of your dangles. To make the earrings you're simply going to attach your dangle to an ear wire. Close up that loop like that and I have a tutorial on how to make your own ear wires. To put it all together I opened up another paper clip and I made a loop at one end. Then I placed on a bead and then my shortest dangle, another bead, and then I progressively got larger to my largest dangle. So I have one bead separating between each one. Cut the end of my wire and you need to leave about a half an inch. And I'm going to shape another loop on this end. Straighten the loop, center the loop, tighten it like that. And I'm just going to open these loops on both sides and attach them to a chain. So there's the finished necklace and earrings set. You can make these as elegant as you want by just choosing different beads. If you like this video, please click like, share it on your social media sites, comment below, and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Thanks for watching.